hi guys welcome to my channel for a get ready with me i feel a little bit rusty i haven't done a get ready with me in a while and the reason for that really is because i have not worn makeup i haven't really been wearing makeup like the most i do when i go run errands right now is maybe some brows and maybe some lip balm that's honestly about it of course with the mask mandate it kind of makes it kind of makes you not even really want to bother with makeup so i don't wear too much of it lately a little bit out of practice also though allergy season my eyes are constantly constantly watering as a matter of fact i promise you like halfway through this video they're just gonna start acting up so I almost feel sometimes like, what is the point of putting on makeup, especially eye makeup, because I'm just going to cry it off, you know, and get streaky and it's going to start burning my eyes, etc. But anyways, what I'm using right now is the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. This is in the color 410. Um, I love the concealer. I don't love this color. This color is definitely just... I mean, if I did spot sort of correcting, I think this would be a great color because it really is pretty much the color of my skin. I just feel like it doesn't work under my eyes. Yeah, I think because it's the color of my skin and this area of my face is like maybe a shade lighter. So it just kind of almost makes me look a little bit bruised. I don't know. I do have this drugstore concealer by Rimmel, the Stay Matte Soft Matte Concealer in the color Amber, which is way too light for me. So maybe I'll just put like a dot. So anyways, I hope you all are doing well. I hope everybody enjoyed their Easter long weekend, whether you celebrate it or not. Happy April. It's my first time sitting down with you all in April. Happy, let me lower this a bit. Happy VEDA, which stands for vlog every day in April, as you all have told me. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do a video every day in April. For me personally, vlogging means putting up video content. It doesn't mean carrying the camera around with me. So for me, a vlog can be any type of video. So that is my goal is to put up a video every day this month. Yesterday's video was a live. Shout out to everybody who joined me. I actually really, really, really enjoyed the live. So I might squeeze, try to squeeze in another live this month for VEDA. I came on around 8 p.m. So I'm thinking maybe the next one I can switch up the time just to, you know, maybe make it more accessible to some of you, like try to come a bit earlier or a, even a bit later, depending on what you guys think. I'm really glad that I gave YouTube Live a chance though. You guys know that I'm completely obsessed with IG Live. And I think I fell in love with IG Live because it's just, I don't really get trolls there. Um, it's just like, honestly, uh, just a group of people who are amazing, who want to hang out and want to chill, and they just bring a lot of really good energy, and we have a great time there. So that's why I love Instagram Live, and I was always so intimidated by YouTube Live, just for the simple fact of, you know, I get far more hate on YouTube than, <laughs> than um, Instagram, so... I was always really afraid, but I'm glad I gave her a shot because I do really enjoy it. And there's not too much. There's not too much hate. Although I did get a troll yesterday. I think it was a troll. Girl, not sure. I'm using, oh wait, did you guys know Becca is out of business? That's what I heard. Is that true? I heard that they're gone out of business. This is my Becca Skin Perfector in Opal. I got this years ago from my girl, Ashik1118 aka Keisha G and it's literally still my favorite highlight. I try to put it like high on my cheekbone because I have chubby cheeks so if I come too low it just accentuates how how fat my cheeks are so my weight loss and weight gain is always reflected in my face first and then my boobs <laughs> um, so if you guys have been with me for the last year and a half, yeah, year and a half, then you've definitely seen what I mean when I say that. 
You know what's funny is yesterday I actually received an email, uh, an email from YouTube, like a copyright, like a um, a copyright warning type email where they're like, you use something or you use music or whatever in one of your videos that somebody else is claiming they own. And I clicked on it and it was from my other, my old channel, old channel, second channel, Tony and the boy, like, you know what's funny, you guys, I know what of a lie, forgot I had that channel, I promise you, because I never log into it. It's not linked to this channel. So when I got that email, I was like, what the? I have not been on that channel since I uploaded my final video. I don't know when exactly my last video was uploaded to that channel, but I know it was 2019. And I uploaded it and I have not been back on it since. So yeah, that copyright email was from an older video, just some music or whatever that I used. So I got a copyright infringement on that. So it just prompted me to actually go and log into that channel. Realize that I have not been on it in so long. I don't go on there and check comments. I don't engage. I don't upload, I don't upload content. I don't have any plans on deleting the channel, <laughs> um, despite the fact that somebody wants me to and tried to tell me to, but no, that is my channel. And I spent years and hours of hard work building that channel and it will stay where it is. It ain't bothering me and that's, and I'm the only one that matters. But I did go and, um, I did actually go and disable all the comments and um, just put links to this channel under all the videos because I figured There's no point in allowing new comments in For a couple reasons number one. I don't go and engage on that channel. So It really is a perfect opportunity for trolls to go and leave whatever nonsense they want to garble and Since I'm not actively moderating or engaging on that channel. I figured I don't want any nonsense, you know new nonsense coming up um, number two, that chapter of my life has closed. So anything that you want to say to me can be say, said to current me, which is right here on this channel, you know? So yeah, so I decided to go ahead and disable comments. All my videos are still there though, and can serve as sort of part of my story. If somebody finds me here and wants to go back and see what was up, then they're very, very much free to do so. They just can no longer comment on what's no more. And so that's the way I prefer it. And I'm so glad I actually got that copyright <laughs> email. Otherwise, I promise you, I probably would have never gone back on that channel. So yeah, I just like to put the same color that I use on my contour over my lids sometimes just for like a wash, a little wash of color. I feel like I need lashes on, but y'all, I just feel like my eyes are gonna start watering. What do you think? Should I should I try? Okay, I did it. I used my Bella Galore um, magnetic lash glue liner, and then I put these on the Magic Gold eyelashes in D Wispy. I'm gonna finish up with my favorite lip combo of the moment, which is Chestnut Lip Liner, and this is by LA Girl. It's in the color Nudie. I'm still rocking my pink braids. These were my birthday braids that I got done on March 6th, right before my birthday. Today is April 6th, so it's been exactly a month and I'm still loving them to be honest. I I think I'm gonna go for five weeks. I wanna say five to six, but I think it's probably gonna end up being five, just depending on how busy my week is next week. Um, so I'm just going to touch up my contour around my hairline and then that's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this get ready with me. I know it's been a while. If you guys have any other suggestions for videos that you may want to see um, for Veda or just in general coming up, definitely let me know, leave them down below and I will add them to my list of things to do. <laughs> that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.